Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Today we're talking about another hair type. Blonde. It needs its own category. So I asked you guys, describe to me your hair type. Let's talk about the products for your specific hair type and blonde needs its own category. So blonde, we're just talking about color. We're talking about how to keep it bright, blonde, healthy, um, not necessarily addressing how to style because you have your hair type and then you have your color. And that's why I say blonde needs its own category because we're mainly talking about tone and color. So how do we do that? What makes a blonde bright and shiny and a cool tone and everything that we want it to be has to do with the health of your hair, being moisturized, and then free of mineral and product buildup. That's how it stays bright, vibrant, shiny, and not muddy, dingy, brassy, all those things. So here we go. <laughs> so in the shower, you have to start with the weekender. Most people have to start with a weekender, but blondes, you don't have an option because what makes the blonde get dingy and yellow and lit is that you have mineral and product buildup from what you did a few days ago. So you have to cleanse all of that out. Anytime I color someone's hair, I use the weekender first to get everything out and then I'll shampoo. So that's the rule of thumb for everybody. So for me, first of all, you're going to be addicted to how the result, just how your hair feels incorporating a clarifying shampoo. The reason I like this one over other brands is it is very gentle. Blondes are fragile. The lighter blonde you are, the more fragile your hair is, and you can't use anything that's gonna strip your hair. You can't afford that. So the Weekender is amazing. It smells like oranges. You're gonna put it on your scalp, and then you're gonna pull it through your ends, mainly just rinse through your ends. You're not gonna pull it through and um, really like work out your ends, unless you have a lot of product buildup. Then you totally can. So the Weekender's first. Then, if it is your toning day, so there's two days in the shower. There's the day that we're gonna purple shampoo and then the day that we're not. So the day we're gonna purple shampoo, you're going to weekend her first, kind of give you a blank canvas, and then you're gonna use your purple shampoo. So I love the Blonda. It doesn't make your hair gray and ashy. If that's something that you like, then you'd wanna probably go with a stronger one or more blue. But this one is still very strong and powerful. It's just not gonna make it ashy. So it's gonna make it bright and vibrant and add that shine back in, but not overdo it. So I love the Blonda. In general, for a toning shampoo to work, it needs to change the pH level of your hair to open up the cuticle so then you can deposit uh, pigment to tone out the yellow. Another thing you need to look at is if you're blonde, make sure that you are yellow blonde and you're not looking at your balayage that has orangey tones because orange needs blue to cancel out, purple only cancels out yellow. So make sure that you know which category that you're in. So you're gonna use the Blonda Toning Shampoo. If you are dry, or maybe you've processed your blonde too much, then you can switch, and I don't have it next to me because we've sold all of them apparently, <laughs> uh, the Blonda Fix. So it looks just like this, but it's a smaller one and it's conditioning. So the Blonda Fix is gonna be a treatment uh, like a mask. So you'll put it on your hair. You're going to look like a Smurf. Do not be afraid to, you don't need to wash it out yet. It is all going to come out. Your hair's not going to be blue, <laughs> but when you put it on, you'll look like a Smurf. So you're going to put it everywhere and leave it on for at least 10 minutes. And it's so conditioning. So if you have frizzy blonde or very processed blonde and you can't handle the purple shampoo, it's too much use the Blonda Fix. It still has a lot of toning um, capabilities, but it's not drying. It's very moisturizing. It has a lot of oils in it. I love it. And it works so well. So that's your two options based on your situation. The other day when you're in the shower and you're not toning, this is where we need to know what are you trying to target? So there's a few options. Blonda this past year came out with this combo. It's their Blonda shampoo and conditioner. And a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between this and the seven second that I recommend? So seven second was like their staple. It's great for a lot of hair types, but what it is, is it's mainly just moisture. So if you have frizzy wavy blonde, like you're naturally curly, um, or you just got a lot of body to your hair, you're probably gonna wanna use this one. So it's just moisture. When you're gonna wanna use the Blonda, you could still use this if you have wavy hair, but this is going to also strengthen your hair. It does have some, I think it's plant-based. I was looking it up because I wanted to be correct. 
I have to look it up. But they, I don't know if it's plant-based or keratin, but it does have some strengthening. Oh, I think it's aminos. I don't know. I have to look at it. But it has some strengthening component to it. So this is great if you are damaged, but not like bad. You just, eh, it'd be a good idea to add in just a little bit of strengthening and then moisture and protect, stick, protect against thermal, everything that blondes need. So the Blonda shampoo and conditioner, it smells like grapes. When you open it though, don't be surprised. Just because it looks purple doesn't mean it is gonna be purple. So the shampoo is white. The conditioner is also white, but it's not toning. That's not the point. So it's just meant to like maintain your blonde. So like I said, if you have curly wavy hair, you don't really need to prepare. You just need moisture. Then I would go with a seven second shampoo and conditioner. It's still really lightweight. It's not heavy. It's great for the fine texture of blonde. Um, or if your hair is coarse, that works too, but it's more for just kind of medium texture to fine texture. So I love the seven second for moisture. And then the uh, third option is if you do have damaged blonde, you've overprocessed it, or even if you are more coarse in your texture and you need more to get it to be moisturized, to get that shine, that's when you wanna to go to the Reunite system. So the shampoo, conditioner, mask, I love this system. It's plant-based proteins. Um, has a lot of oils in it. It's so nourishing. It smells like essential oils. It's amazing. I love it. So on your off day, you're going to choose from one of those combos is what you rotate with. And getting your hair blonde or staying bright mainly just happens in the shower. We can use styling products based on the result that we want, but getting it bright and shiny and healthy has to do with the shower care. So it seems like a lot of steps, but being blonde is high maintenance. When you get out of the shower, you're gonna to wanna to use your seven second detangler leave-in. This has some thermal protection in it. It's a great way to brush everything out. Um, it has some, just like a good start. Like your hair's gonna feel soft already with this. It's a good step to take. And then the blonde oil. Before this, it only had a U oil, which I love forever, but I was like, it's yellow. I need a clear one or a purple one or something. So this is clear and it's more lightweight than the U oil. So I still like the U oil. If you're obsessed with that one, I understand. If you wanna try something different, the U oil or the Blonda oil is amazing. It's very lightweight and thin. And I like it because I can put, my, put it on my hair dry at night um, on my ends, which a lot of people don't do oil at night, which I'm surprised. I think that we think it's going to get greasy in the morning but you'd be surprised how much your, your hair will just soak that up. It's amazing. And then styling products just depends on your hair type. So that is blonde hair care. So if you have more questions that I haven't answered, put them in the comments and I'll answer them as best as I can. And I will link everything that I talked about individually in the description. And that is either in my um, IGTV drop down or if it's on YouTube, it's in my description below. So. I hope this helped. Again, if you have any more questions, don't be afraid to ask.